Hey everyone, it's Lorna again real quick. Um, I just wanted to show you just a few more things real quick. Um, if you've su subscribed to my channel, you probably got here because you watched a video on Arlene's channel. And I know she showed a couple little things that I had made doing quilling. And I used to do a lot of it, but after I had my surgery, I kind of had to, to give it up. Making these little roses is hard enough. Quilling is way too hard when my hand doesn't work right. But I'll just show you a couple little things I made before I did quit. I made this little box here, little basket with flowers, and it opens up. And quilling is very, very time consuming and very tedious. If any of you have done it, I'm sure you know. Rolling each one of those individually, smushing them just right, it's, it's very, very, very tedious. And I made this picture frame. I can't get really get back away from it any further but it can stand this way or it can sit this way or actually the other way I'm backwards so again here's just you know a bunch of the little flowers and leaves and vines and just ran them up the side of this little picture frame it's just a little wooden frame I'm trying to get in there to show a little bit of the detail, but the darn camera is just not going to let me. So there's that, and then this here is the second one that I made. I actually made one in red for my mother before she passed away. And here is this. This took me days. <laughs> Literally, days. The flowers are, I don't know if you can tell, the flowers are two layers. They're dark purple underneath, light purple on top. And I started making a blue one, and that's when my hands started going bad. And so I haven't done much since. And this actually goes inside the shadow box. I have to redo the acetate, though. It's popping out. That's why I took it out to show you. So purple's my favorite color. Blue's my second favorite color. But my mom liked red and pink, so I made her a red and pink one, put it in a white frame. And it's hanging on the wall in the bathroom. So this weekend, my sister-in-law is out yard sailing, and she calls me, and she says, hey, I found a yard sale that has a bunch of rubber stamps and stuff. She said, they're like a quarter apiece. Do you want them? I said, yep. She said, no matter what they are? I said, yep. So she brings me this whole bag of stuff. There was The lady even threw the ink in. I told her I didn't want the ink, but she threw it in. There's all different... Most of them are like green, There's little cat's eyes, and I think this lady must have had a store at one time, because these things also have the price tags on them, they say Sammy K's, I don't know where it would be, or if any of you have ever heard of Sammy K's, but this is brand new, it's never been used, so I'm sure I'll use it, and then she gave me four of these tubes, if I can find the other one, it's in here somewhere, of wax, which I've never used. Okay, here it is. There's three burgundies and a gold. These things were, what does it say on there? $2.95 a piece. They're brand new, never been used, never even been opened. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then she brought me another bag that was absolutely loaded, full, of these letter stamps. Oh, that's not a letter stamp. That's another stamp. And I was so excited because I thought, oh, these are so cool. It's so cute. The only problem is the, the bag was full of tons of repeats. There, it, there wasn't even a full alphabet. So I kept a few of them, and I have a whole bag. So if any of you would need, like, an I, a Y... A U, an O, a Z. You can't have that one. That's a little present. I keep in that one. I just kept like one of each. There's a T, a W, and all of these I have more of, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. N. G, but definitely not a full alphabet. I was kind of disappointed after I found out it wasn't a whole alphabet. V and a Q. 
and an X. I don't know what you'd use an X for. Oh, here's an F. But I mean, you know, somebody might have a first name starting with one of those and would like one of these. And heck, if you want one, just let me know. But then she also found a bunch of stamps. And some of these were like 11 and 12 dollars. Oh, I can't focus in on that. That's just like a little postage thing. Little star. I like this one, handmade with love. And some of these have never been used. So, little leaves. This says Paris on it. I wish you could see it. I can't get it to focus. wonder if I can. Whoops. No, it's not going to focus anymore, and I'm not putting it back on manual. There's a little flower one. A big leaf. There's some bamboo and letters, and there's crayons and stuff in there, and this thing's never even been opened. This is Impression. A brown maple leaf. This is cute, too. You hold the key to my heart. There's a little cattail one. What's this one say? Oh, this one's cute. It's hard to see on here. It says, you are the sunshine of my life. <laughs> Here's some little swirlies. Another little flower. Well, it's not exactly a little flower. Uh, some more leaves. Another little Asian-like stamp. This one's adorable. Little gingham hearts. And then this one. And like I said, this I got everything in this bag for five bucks. So I couldn't turn that down. Even if I don't use them, it was still worth five dollars. So I guess that's all I'm going to share for today. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of wore out. And I think I'm going to go sit in my recliner and relax for a little while. So y'all have a great night. And like I said, if you, if you want one of these letter things, I'm not giving up the wax. But if you want a letter, let me know. And... Oh, there's one more in here. How about that? What is this? Oh, this one's cute, too. It says letter perfect. <laughs> Very cute. So anyway, um, if you like one of those letters, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do. I'm going to go relax now. Y'all have a great night, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.